Hi everyone, so it is currently Sunday night. Um, I start work tomorrow, obviously, on Monday morning. So because tomorrow is my first day, I wanted to make everything as stress-free as possible and get everything all sorted and make sure I've packed everything and got everything steamed and everything. Just that I'm not stressed um, tomorrow and running around like like crazy and I can have a good night's sleep and lie in as, lo as long as possible um, just because I'm not used to going into the office and things. Um, so yeah, I just wanted everything to run as smoothly as possible. So I have already pre-filmed the intro to this video um, just because I didn't want to start the video looking like this. Um, so one of the things that I've done is pop in my Heatless Curls. This is just a Heatless Curl headband. It's kind of like a makeup, like like a makeup headband like one that you keep your hair off your face while you're doing your makeup but um it's actually one that I got from TK Maxx and hopefully that it works pretty well um tomorrow I'll show you the results um so yeah I'm just about to go to bed but I'll show you a couple of things that I've done um to make sure that I am ready to go tomorrow so one of the things that I've done is actually just um set out my workwear for the week I have steamed it made sure everything's clean and I've put put together outfits because I know that because I haven't been into the office in ages I've never like I think that I'm going to be super tired when I get home um after the day's work so it's just nice to have the full week um ready and I don't have to stress about putting an outfit together or steaming everything anything or anything during the week um so I'm just gonna like this is Monday's outfit Tuesday Wednesday and so on um so I'll be showing you these on throughout the week um and then I've got my shoes down there and my bag which is packed I'll show you what's in my bag. I'm just using my Prada Galleria bag because it's the only one that fits my lunchbox in it. Um, but I have this little heating um, pad device that I got from Amazon. It's super cute, actually. It's pink. Um, and this is just because I've been having some major tummy issues lately. It's why I've been super quiet on my Instagram. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be a lifesaver. It kind of heats up and vibrates if you need it. Um, but I've been non-stop using a hot water bottle, so this is going to come in super handy. Um, I then just have a brolly, um, obviously take that everywhere, a brush um, and hand sanitizer. I mean, this needs filling up. Well, I need to get a new one. Um, my poopery, if you know, you know. Um, just some meds in there. <laughs> And um, in the back pocket here, I've got my Tide pen for if I have any stains on my clothes, a mask just in case. Um, and then I've got just a little brush to pop on my powder if I get a bit shiny during the day for a top up. And I've got this little um, powder here from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the tiniest little powder. Hang on, let me show you. Like It's really cute, but it's so small. You can see that it fits like in the palm of my hand. Um, but this is really good just to slot in your handbag um, and obviously with the brush there. And then I've just got my card and a little lipstick. This is a Charlotte Tilbury kind of lip balm thing. Uh, it's the, I'm not sure what this is. It's called Princess Kisses, uh, but I don't think they sell it anymore. But this is just a really nice kind of sheer balm that's in like a pinky colour if it lets me show you um but it's really sheer on the lips really pretty and it adds a nice amount of moisture and a nice bit of color so I always keep that in my bag I don't know where I'll be and what I'll use when I run out of it because I don't sell it anymore I also have all my makeup set out here ready for tomorrow um just in case my heatless curls don't work out I've got my Dyson set up ready here I'll just spray my hair down and really quickly curl it um or just blow dry it um, and I've got my infallible 32 hour fresh wear foundation that's just a really easy drugstore one to wear um, my Shein well she glam blush and contour elf powder and my contour and highlight palette by Charlotte Tilbury with my benefit brow pe pencil and um, these are just really affordable makeup that I don't mind like using on an everyday basis because they're cheaper to replace but having them all set out like this I don't do this every day but because I'm starting a fresh um, new job tomorrow I don't want to be anxious in the morning sometimes I'm a bit anxious and I'm faffing about and I can't find anything so it's really helpful to have everything set out as it is here so this lunchbox is from Amazon. I'll link it down below. It's super handy because it's got like two different sections and it's like split into sections. You'll see in a minute. 
um it was it was a little bit more expensive but i find that these type of bento boxes are usually too small um and i like to eat a lot of small meals during the day and have a selection of things um just because of how my tummy is um it kind of depends what i'm feeling on the day what i'm able to kind of stomach at that moment in time so i like to have a bigger selection so i'll show you what i've packed so in the top section here i just have some mango and watermelon and i've got my breakfast bit here this is coconut yogurt with granola flaked almonds and coconut and i'll sprinkle a bit of honey on um, and then i've got these like katsu vegetarian chicken um balls these are really nice i'm not vegetarian but i just really like the flavor of these um and they're easy on my stomach um i don't seem to feel sick or too bloated after them um, so they're really nice so I've got a good selection there and then you take the top section off and it's got this little place where you can put sauces in or garnish with your little fork and spoon I mean they're super cute um, but yeah I haven't got anything in these today and this is what I've got in the bottom section this is a chicken fajita wrap and I've got a lemon blueberry graze bar these are great to snack on with a cup of tea and just a banana um, but yeah I think that will keep me sufficiently fed for the day um and yeah i'll let you know how i got on with it i'm just about to go to bed i'm gonna read something on my kindle i've got i'm reading something called paper palace and it just had like really high reviews and loads of them on um amazon so that's what i'm reading um i'll let you know if it's good or not um let me know any book suggestions that you have down below because I've been finding that reading on my Kindle helps my anxiety a little bit before I go to bed. It's something that just you can just switch off for a bit and it's always really nice to do if you're worrying about something um, for the next morning. You can kind of escape in a book. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do about half an hour of reading and then go to bed at literally like half ten. Um, so yeah, I'll catch up with you with my outfit tomorrow morning. Bye! <laughs> Monday everyone um so I am finally ready this is how the heatless curls turned out I don't think they look too bad they're a little bit wild but I think they'll settle throughout the day um and I've got a brush with me and I'm also going to bring a bubble just in case um but I don't think they look too bad it, like for heatless curls they were quite comfy to sleep in um but I'm all ready so I thought I would show you my outfit so this is what I am wearing into the um office it's just something really simple i didn't want to wear a blouse the first day because i wasn't sure like whether it was going to be hot or cold or what it was going to be so i thought i'd put on like a lightweight knit um and i still think this is quite smart and it's very me and i feel quite confident in it so it's just this little knit from and other stories i've had it for quite a while um, but I do really like it. It's got the really pretty enamel buttons and I've paired it with my little enamel necklace from Tico Max. Um, some little pearly earrings just to reflect light to my face so I don't look dead. And then for trousers, I've got on these trousers from H&M. They're the tapered trousers, I think, in a kind of beigey taupe shade. I'll link them down below. But yeah, a lot of my work clothes are actually too big on me. As I mentioned, I think, before, I've ha been having a lot of stomach issues and I've lost um, a little bit of weight. But I don't really want to get them re-altered because I don't really want to... I want to put on a little bit of weight. But these trousers seem to fit okay. And they've got, like, a slightly um, elastic waistband there, so they should be quite comfortable. And then for shoes, I've got on these little June slingbacks. You've seen these many a time. And, yes, my feet look purple um, for some reason. <laughs> And then for my watch, this is my watch. It's really, really pretty. It's from a brand called Swan and Edgar. Um, and they're a really lovely British brand um, made in London. And I just thought the pop of gold was really pretty. And it's got that hint of girliness there with the sparkle. Um, so yeah, that's outfit. Oh, that's my outfit for day one. I'll pop on the coat and my bag to show you the full outfit together. So I'm just going to be wearing my Burberry trench. Um, it's cashmere, so it should keep me super warm when I'm walking around. Um, but it's just in this taupe colour. It doesn't go perfectly with the trousers, but it kind of looks very smart and I won't be wearing it for that long. So I just wanted something warm and easy to pop on. And then this is the full look together. Um, 
yeah I don't think the coat looks too bad with the trousers it just looks quite smart um I do have this for my bag it is in a neutral so it doesn't look too bad with the outfit but it is just my work bag just because it's like a great size for work um so yeah that's all the colors together I'll clean this mirror for tomorrow so that we're not looking into a dusty mirror <laughs> I am finally home from work um my first day actually went pretty smoothly to be honest um super chill and nice and quiet just did lots of training um so but yeah I'm still feeling super super tired I literally put my pajamas on as soon as I got into the house um and all I've done is went and made my lunch so I'll go and show you what I've made for lunch tomorrow so here is tomorrow's lunch I've got pretty healthy lunch tomorrow again um in this section I've got some brown rice and some sweet corn cucumber cress and radish uh, with some pine nuts um so kind of like a pokey bowl I've got some sugar snap peas some avocado some little falafel and my katsu chicken um vegetarian chicken balls that I had today and um, these are really good um so hopefully that should fill me up fairly like it should fill me up because I've got rice and kind of falafel in there and lots of veggies so super healthy and then as my snacks I've got another little coconut yogurt part with my granola coconut and flaked almonds and blueberries I've got some watermelon I don't know what it is but when I've got a sore tummy watermelon actually helps for some reason I don't know why um, another one of these greys lemon and blueberry bars and some yogurt coloured covered rice cakes as my snacks and then I'm just going to shove in a banana in the morning as well um, but yeah super healthy lunch I've been really looking forward to my lunches uh, well I've only had one but I get super excited packing my lunch for the next day um, and yeah I'm just trying to eat as much as possible because I've lost a little bit of weight so I want to be back into a normal eating routine and doing these little lunches is so helpful and especially having this lunch box because it just gives me such a variety of things that I can pick at um but yeah it's, uh, it's about seven o'clock I've had my dinner and things um and as I mentioned just made my lunch so yeah I'm already in my pajamas and to be honest I think for the rest of the night I'm just gonna take my makeup off um and make sure I've got everything ready for tomorrow I might try and do a little bit of editing for Instagram uh seeing how but I'm gonna see how tired I am because I've been looking at a computer screen all day and my eyes are very very tired um and then I think I'll probably just go to bed read a book and go to bed um yeah I really hope that I get into the routine of going back into the office soon because at the minute I just feel so drained and shattered but yeah first day for a first day it went pretty well so I'm pretty happy with that um but yeah I'm just gonna take my makeup off and go to bed I think <laughs> so I will catch you tomorrow for Tuesday's outfit Tuesday outfit of the day um I think I'm not really that dressed for the weather to be honest because it's freezing outside um but I've got on my Stradivarius trousers these are in the kind of cream off-white color and then I've got on this really sweet little blouse which is from um Simple Retro I will link them down below because they sell really gorgeous vintage pieces but I think they look so professional for work it's got this gorgeous like these li little buttons which are kind of like enamel that match the blouse really well and the lace cuff sleeves Um, it's 100% cotton as well so it's going to keep like it's going to be breathable and I'm not going to sweat in it during the day if it does get a little bit warm Um, but yeah I do really like this outfit for my earrings I don't know if you can be able to see I've got in these little bee earrings to go with the kind of green natural theme Um, my Swan and Edgar watch i just love this watch it goes with everything and then i've got on my little vintage emerald ring ring that my nan gave me and then for a coat i thought i would go with my gorilla trench coat just to kind of not add too much of a bold color i was going to go with cream but these trousers aren't really like they're not cream but they're not 
I don't know, they're a, they're a bit of a strange colour, but they seem to go perfectly with the blouse. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do it up because it's quite cold outside. Um, if you haven't seen my Gavilia video, I really recommend going to check it out because all of the clothes that I've that I shown on there, I have been wearing non-stop lately. They are the most beautiful quality materials and everything. Um, this coat is made out of 100% worsted wool, which is a really high quality type of wool. Um, but it is in a trench coat style, so it's kind of perfect for this spring time of year. And obviously the colour is super classic and it's going to go with so many different things. Um, but yeah, that's my outfit of the day and I'll catch you tomorrow. oh my gosh i'm looking rough i'm back from my second day of work um well i'm nearly ready to go to bed to be honest um had a really good day and after work it was such nice weather i mean it was super cold but like the sun was out so me and my boyfriend took our two little dogs um a big walk round a walk by us and it has like the most incredible views i think i'll show you some clips from the walk um but it was just a really nice like end to the day and i feel like it felt good to like go for a walk after like sitting in an office for like quite a few hours like, i'm just not used to that i'm used to like walking about and um kind of doing what i want around the house um even doing housework and stuff you don't actually realize like how hard it is to then sit at a desk for all day um when you're kind of pottering about the house um so yeah it was nice to get out after work and um, get a bit of exercise in um and i felt super tired after it i was like so done after the walk um but it was so refreshing um Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I've made it halfway through the week. Um, yesterday went so quickly, I couldn't believe it. Um, I finished around like four, half four, and I just can't believe like how quickly the day goes by after lunchtime. Um, so yeah, I will have shown some clips from the little walk that we had yesterday. Um, but I'm feeling quite refreshed this morning. Um, I'm not too tired or anything, so that's good. Um I'm wearing something a little bit more smart today, something from like my old work wardrobe. I've had this in my wardrobe a while, um, I, I, but I think that you'll still be able to buy the blazer and something similar, so I'll link it down below. Um, the trousers I have are very, very big on me. Um, I'm not sure whether you'll be able to tell, but I've really had to cinch the waist in with the belt. Um, and I had these altered to fit me. They're from Reese. Um, and I wear Reese in a size UK4, but I find that Reese comes up big anyway. So I've had these altered to fit me. Um, but as I mentioned at the start of the video, I've lost a bit of weight. So they do come up a little bit big and they look a little bit baggy on me. Um, so obviously not the most flattering pair of trousers, but they're still super smart. They are like this pinstripe design. Um, the pinstripe is black, but I don't think you can tell. I think whenever you wear like different colours with it, it kind of picks up the colour that you're wearing. Um, and they're very subtly pinstriped, so they don't look like, I don't know, like weird pyjama trousers or anything, I don't know. Um, and then the blouse I've got on, just a really simple silk cream blouse um, to pick up the cream in the trousers. As I mentioned, I've belted the trousers with my Todd's belt. Um, and this is in the camel colour, and so I went with my camel Hobbs blazer. I have this in pink as well. Um, and I, this belt is actually reversible. So I was like, oh, do I use the pink today? Do I wear the brown? But my pink blazer had a stain down it. So there we go. 
Um, and then shoes, I've just gone for the same shoes that I've been wearing all week, but in the brown colour, um, just to kind of let the outfit flow a little bit better. Um, but hopefully this outfit should keep me a little bit warmer today because I'm wearing a blazer. Um, it was super cold yesterday. Um, it was fine in the office, but it was super cold like outside. Um, so yeah, I don't know whether, I, I might put a cream coat on over the top, um, but I'm not sure because we drive there, so I don't know. I'm just going to show you the things I picked up yesterday that I forgot to show you. Um, my lunch, I am having the same as yesterday because I didn't actually come round to eating much of it. Um, so I've just kind of put it back in the fridge and I'm going to have that today. So I'll show you the bits that I got sent last night. It's only a couple of bits. So I got sent this beautiful, I don't know, I think it's a perfume from Jo Malone. It looks like it anyway. Beautifully pr presented. Um, and it's this what is it scarlet poppy cologne intense um the bottle is like this like really deep kind of red color but i think it looks nice with the pink um i think it's quite complimentary so i might keep it in here um like around there or something on the top table of this i've not styled this desk um really yeah i just put some bits that i had left over from my dressing room and i've got to change the knobs out um, I don't like these, but the ones that I want, the drawer knobs, they're not in stock. So I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna have to wait for them to come back into stock before I um, order them, obviously. Um, but yeah, let me have a spritz of this to see what it smells like. Yeah, you think the room's all neat until you look at the back bit, and it's like an absolute mess. Let's have a look. Oh, I can smell it already, and it has. I haven't even like sniffed my hand quite like um it says pop, scarlet poppy but that smells quite coconutty to me but i do really like it. it smells lovely i've never actually tried jo malone fragrances before um i always thought that they were quite overhyped but i think that's quite nice actually but it's quite coconutty it reminds me of holiday so i think this would be nice like going on holiday or something or for the summer so great time to kind of send it over but yeah i'll have to look up the uh, notes of it online but definitely quite coconutty so i actually ordered a new water bottle for work last week because i was previously using this bottle which is a chilies bottle but it's one of those like flask type bottles um where you just open this and it's kind of like a flask and previously i used to use this just for um teas and coffees um but i wanted like an actual water bottle so i saw these on the chilies website these are the new series two um water bottles and they're the same kind of flask design um however this is the lid that the the series two comes with so it's just a normal lid that you screw on unscrew this and it's just like a normal flask lid um but you can also get accessories so i got this uh little straw type lid um just because i think it's easier to drink out of when you're drinking water it just is just a little bit nicer so you're not touching like metal flask i don't know that might just be me um, but yeah, that's so like there's a little straw that runs down through here and you can remove it and replace it with this one on the days where you don't want a straw so you can use it for hot drinks. Um, but yeah, it's a great little bottle and I obviously really love the colour, the pink, the, it's literally like the perfect pink colour um, and it holds, this is the 500 milliliter size, um, but it's a great size and I just, I just love it. I think it's such a nice little bottle. Um, and I've been finding this super handy to drink out of because I actually got it uh, yesterday night and I was using it all night. Um, so yeah, I'm going to fill this up and pop it in my work bag. Yeah, so just so you can see, it's still like a normal flask that you would drink out of, obviously with the lid on top. Um, and then like this is just a straw that can kind of like go as small or as large as you want it to. Um, but yeah, I just think it's super handy and such a nice little thing that you can choose the lid on it. Thursday and I'm wearing something a little bit different to my other outfits. I'm wearing my Stradivarius little trousers and um, these are in the white and I'm having a bad tummy day so I can't can't do them up but it doesn't matter because I've got my jumper over it. Um, but yeah these are from Stradivarius and they're in the I think they're like the pure white colour and these are great they're like super comfortable and 
because they're like quite cheap if you do get anything down them it doesn't really matter you can just rebuy um but yeah i've had them for a while and i think they're quite good quality i don't think they look super cheap or anything um and then the blouse that i have on underneath is actually from a brand called welly girl because it's like a countryside brand um it's really pretty because it's got these like um frill cuffs and this like cut out detail at the neckline here that i've just left open and then over the top just for a bit of warmth i've got on my ralph lauren um navy kind of v-neck jumper i actually got this off vintage the other day um and yeah it was super cheap but obviously like super good quality super warm and it just looks like i don't know so old money aesthetic and then for a jacket i'm going with my Gorelia trench um i just think navy white and camel look so classic together if i can get it on that is and there you go that's the outfit all put together um i really like this trench because it's got like super deep pockets so i can put my phone in um but yeah that's what it looks like together i love this like detail at the neckline here that's kind of a bit disheveled but um still quite like put together if that makes any sense um but yeah that's thursday's out for the day i will catch you maybe not tomorrow i think i'm working from home tomorrow but yeah i'll do a little sum up at the end of the week It's Friday and I have been working from home today. I work a half day on Friday and um, so I'm just a bit more dressed down today but I've just come back from um, going into Glasgow because we actually went and sold our old car and um, so we just went and had a coffee after we'd done that and um, then just got the train home um, but I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. It's super casual um, and you probably think that's not really that me but um, it's just comfy casual so i'll just show you so i've wore this um little coat which is from dane fashion it's kind of like a teddy bear material um and it's just like quite cozy because it's actually freezing outside even though it's like spring now um and then underneath let me take this off <laughs> yeah, so underneath i just have on this little jumper which is from naked fashion um i showed this in my last new in my wardrobe video um, but I love this jumper. It's actually like such a nice jumper. I wish it come in more colours. Um, it's quite soft and cosy and super flattering on and I love the colour. It's like an oatmeal shade. And before I show you, I have a stain on my trousers because I just spilt tea on them when I was in the coffee shop. Um, so these are my mango jeans. If I stand back so you can see the full outfit. So these are jeans from Mango and they're actually made out of like a sustainable fabric i think it's like cotton or something so they're actually a lot softer than normal jeans um which is really important for my tummy um and then i've got on my fairfax and favor little trainers um these are the only trainers i own um but i think they look quite chic and quite classy um without like i don't know without being too like dressed up and then i've got my hair like slicked back in a hair mask uh, that's why it looks like that and yeah little pearly earrings um and then underneath you would never be able to tell well yeah you might be able to tell from the side but i've got on my little heating pad so i just thought i'd show you so there's the heating pad on it's super slim as you can see um and i can fit it under my jeans because i've lost a little bit of weight um but it just keeps like when i'm when i'm going out and stuff it just keeps like heat there so that i don't get like as bad tummy pains um, but I've actually found it super useful. So if you st suffer from any type of like tummy pain or even back pain, um, these are really handy. And it was only like £15 off Amazon. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you're interested, but it's been like my life saviour these past few weeks. And then I just had a really cute little delivery from Ciate London. Um, they sent me through their new Glow to Blush blushes. Um, and these are going to be retailing for £22 and they're supposed to complement all skin types and blended with ultra fine highlighting pearls so I think it's going to be like a blush slash blush topper like with a highlight um so yeah I'm excited to try these out they look really really cute I'll try and swatch them for you 
So this is the packaging they come in. Um, this is in the shade Summer Fling. And then let's see what they look like. Hang on. Oh, that is so hard to open things when you've only got one hand. So, oh no, I've just dug my nail in it. Um, so this is Summer Fling. It's kind of like a, I don't know, it's like a peachy like champagne colour and it's got a really nice little mirror in there um so yeah I'm excited to try these out they're super sweet and Ciate are such a nice brand um I like their nail polishes and their makeup products so these are the four blush shades I think these these two are the lighter two um and then the top two are the slightly darker ones I'm not sure how, how well you're going to be able to see in this light but I think you can tell um Oh my God, if I can even do it. Yeah, you can tell that that one on the right is a little bit darker than that one. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try them out. Um, they look super pretty and I've swatched a little one here. This is this one. Let me... So that's what it looks like. Um, I've sort of foundation on my hand. Um, but yeah, really pretty. I actually think this is going to look super nice in summer uh, with a little bit of glow in there. And I do like these corally shades when I'm more tanned. Um, so yeah, pretty. I don't want to come too close to my face because my skin's super bad just now. Um, but I'm actually wearing some Ciate eyeshadow. I don't know if you can see like slightly in the corner, like the glittery bits. They're like a cream shadow that you can like, tap on and I like to put it in the corner and it kind of brightens up the eyes a bit. I don't know if you can tell, it's really bad lighting in here. It's making me look like I've got a dirty forehead, but I promise it doesn't look that bad in person. Um, but yeah, that's a nice little delivery for me. Um, I'm not sure what else we're going to be doing tonight. It's Friday. Uh, we've got no plans, but we shall see. <laughs> you know <laughs> Feeling <laughs> these looks. 